The quarantine officer stopped me and sent me back to the quay. Nonetheless, Shelley and Williams kept heading out to sea. I watched till they disappeared into the haze, then went down to my cabin to sleep. I was woken by thunder and lightning coming crashing down over the deep. And when the storm had cleared away, I looked where their boat had last been. Then I scanned the entire horizon, but they were nowhere to be seen. With us it was stormy all day, and we did not at all suppose that they could put to sea. The next day it rained and was calm. The sky wept on their graves. On I was cantering over the Mediterranean sands Despair in the pit of my stomach And sweat in the palms of my hands I was riding along for miles and for miles I was brought up short when I saw The lifeless body of Shelley Lying there on the shore Shelly and Ned had been taken from them by the sea and the wind and the rain. Then I built an iron furnace and carried it down to the shore. Prepared the cremation of Shelly as a crowd gathered silent in awe. The air seemed to quiver and glisten twixt the sea and the earth and his burning body I poured frankincense, salt and wine My dear Trelawney, said Byron Breaking the funeral spell I knew that you were a pagan But you're a pagan priest as well But not till the evening was on us Was this body reduced on the pile All was consumed Except for his heart, which I snatched from out of the fire And Mary is left with his papers And a question she wonders how long It will take for the world to realize What it lost in this bright child of song